Hello. Hello. Thank you very much for Pleasure. agreeing to Pleasure. talk to us. So we realise that you haven't been doing as many shows as you have done in the past 19 years. You've kind of taken a break, would you say? Uh, I've taken a back seat from festivals, yeah. Because yeah. I used to go to Edinburgh every year or yeah. every other year and haven't been for f five years because... I got married and had kids. And yeah. So how was the show for you after that, that taking the back seat? Tonight, it was great fun. What, what's the, the plus side is doing an hour at, rather than 20 minutes. You know, in a club, you do 20 minutes, half an hour if you're lucky. But to do an hour and a bit more than an hour, I did, I think, um, it's just a lovely freedom to just expand. You know, when something comes up in the audience and you want to talk about that subject for a bit, you haven't got to then chop something else off that you would have liked to do. In, yeah. You know, it, you, you can just keep going. And an hour... I mean, that was an hour to about 50 people. Yeah. So that, you know, that laugh is long. Like, a big audience can have that rolling laugh. Yeah. So I probably crammed in, I reckon, because the audience didn't want to talk to me either. Very reserved, <laughs> very reserved, right? Yeah, so it's pretty quiet. Yeah, I think I crammed in about an hour and 20 minutes of material. Okay. So they got a lot. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but yeah, no, I enjoyed it. It was a little bit reserved. A bit too reserved, A little say? bit, because people, people seem to be in groups of two... Very yeah. couple wasn't it? Yeah, And it was, single with yeah. people on their own. Um, well, it was a Sunday night, so maybe... Yeah, I that's true. Know. That's true. Um, so, yeah, but there, I'm used to, I suppose, a bit more confident from an audience. Yeah. So when I said any questions, no one said a word. Yeah, yeah I'm used yeah. to something. And there was one guy at the front row who was not only confident, <laughs> he wouldn't stop. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the balance, what that does, that intimidates the audience because they then go, oh, we're not involved in this. Yeah. So that's why I had to slap him down so the audience had a bit more... Yeah. It, it, it's really like a kind of balance. If if you get a quiet audience and one bloke who's confident, that's the, almost the worst combination because yeah. because that makes them go even quieter, even if that's possible. Mm -hmm. um, but you could say, well, at least there's someone talking to you. Yeah, it's true. That's true. It's true. Well, I really enjoyed your show. Oh, I like you. the way that you touch on so many different things. And it made me wonder, like, what inspires you to, like... Because you talk about life in general, all yes. kind of aspects. What kind of inspires you? Are you just... Do you just wake up and like, hmm, yeah, that's funny? Or like, what, what's funny to you kind of thing? Um, that's a good question. I, I, um, everything's funny to me uh, that I find funny. I don't have any major rules. I, I don't talk about TV programs, advertising. Yeah. Um, the act of sex, I don't talk about the Yeah, actual... that was kind of nice. We, we had a lot of that this festival. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so I suppose, you know, I don't, I don't like... To, Generic, like I even mentioned not talking about Facebook. You know, yeah. I've got a joke about not... That's brand new, yeah. that was. <laughs> yeah. I've got a joke about not talking about Facebook. Um, I think it's starting to get a bit samey when you go to come in, mm. you know, everyone's talking about the same thing. But then again, I talk about my children. Yeah. But if the, if the subject is not original, such as parenthood, mm -hmm. then it better be an original joke. That's my sort of rule of thumb. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you can... You, if, you, if you talk about dinosaurs and you've got an OK dinosaur joke, if you're going to talk about getting stoned, it yeah. better be a really good joke yeah. <laughs> because the subject matter is so done to death. Yeah. Um, but my only real main rule is is do I feel it and, and get excited about it when I see it? I don't talk about politics. I don't watch the news. I don't, and I talked about not watching the news, didn't yeah. I? Um, yeah. uh, uh, my question I ask myself when I think of an idea is could anyone have thought of that? And if the answer is yes, then I'm not going to do it. I wouldn't yeah. want to pay money to watch someone do something I can do. Mm -hmm. I go to a restaurant. I want a chef who cooks better than I cook. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't want to sit there listening to jokes, thinking. I just someone said to me. Someone mentioned a comedian to me the other day, and they said he's just so obvious. And I thought, well, good for you that you've used the word obvious to describe not liking yeah. something. Yeah. You know, surely it should be about original thoughts. Mm -hmm. And so, since you've been well, you've been doing this for 19 years. Did yes. you say? How so old are you? I'm 21. So you're two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. <laughs> That's mad. So in turn, you've done a lot of TV appearances as well. Over the years, yeah. How does TV compare to stand up, or does it? Uh, major restrictions because they'll come up to you. For example, Mot the Week. Yeah. Uh, they said to me, "Oh, don't swear because Frankie gets the only F word we're allowed to use on the show." So there's suddenly rules start applying, or you might do a TV show, and they'll say, "Yeah, you can't do that bit because that's." Uh, legal problems yeah can you change it and you yeah. go i'd rather not do it and they go well we really want you to do that joke can you change it so then other people's um are you texting no no <laughs> no no because no, <laughs> you had a nap, that would be hilarious because <laughs> you, you had an app uh, that you had to open yeah 
I thought you were looking at text. No, I thought no. you were looking at opening your text thing. <laughs> 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 we have a good, good test of what stage of interview. If you started texting, <laughs> then laughing at the text messages. So, so you know. So apparently you lost your grandmother recently, and then you start going. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then opening a can of beer, and then offering the cameraman one, but not me one. <laughs> um. Uh, I can't remember the question now. TV. Oh, I think I think that um, I haven't got on well with television because I find it a bit. I find it a bit intimidating having the rules changed on you. Yeah. And some people, Peter Kay, just took to it like a duck to water. I watched him when he's early stages of television. I always find it very. I don't know. I, I know in a stand up, you get told you're on now, go, and you have to be funny. And yeah. I, but I got no problem with that. Yeah. But there's something about the way TV sort of. For example, you might do stand up on TV and you're on a podium where the audience, the front row is 20 foot away because they don't think that matters because they're thinking, yeah, we'll get a nice shot of you, you look good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you may look good, but you need to be close to the audience to do your thing. Mm-hmm. So a lot of rules start changing in television and I, I often found that frustrating and editors getting involved and taking away the funny bit because they thought it looked better their way and you think, well, I wrote the joke, I know how yeah, the yeah, joke yeah. goes. So I've, I've, or I've always had slight problems with it and subsequently haven't got on on, on television and... It's a shame because obviously you reach millions of people, then you can sell out rooms 20 times, 100 times the size of that. Yeah. But I never really mastered that craft. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about like the proudest moment of your career? Because um, you've done a lot. I've done a lot. <laughs> um, I did this one man show at the Sydney Opera House in the studio in 1999 and sold out on the Saturday, did a little five day run. It was in a small 400 seater. Mm. But having a sold out Sydney Opera House. Yeah. You know, it's not the, the main room, 2,000 seats. My CV doesn't mention that detail. <laughs> um, but that, that that felt pretty good. And I think... Um, I'll tell you what it was, actually. It was in 1994 when I went to Edinburgh for the first time and entered a competition called So You Think You're Funny, a new act competition, and I won my heat and went through to the final. Yeah. And that moment was... Because it was that moment of actually taking a step into the... the putting your toe in the water yeah. and then liking it and being accepted. Mm-hmm. Um uh, and Craig Ferguson, who's now got his own TV in the States, a uh, Scottish comedian, he walked past me and he just went, very good. And I assume he was one of the judges because he was a well-known comedian in the audience. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing the judge, you know, he's one of the judges. And he just little, little, gave a little mention, a little smile as if to say, I voted for you. And I'd love to meet him. One, one day I'll be in Montreal and he'll be hosting a gala or something. He'll be there and I can go over to him and I'd go, you that was my palace moment and you were part of it yeah. and he'll go i didn't vote for you <laughs> <laughs> and his sister's a comedian who i know called lynn ferguson um uh i think she's in, in la as well i'm not sure but anyway uh that was and, and i think the message any young com- comics watching is that your best moments can be early on yeah. you can have uh your own american sitcom but that's not to say that that feels as good as being a new act doing well or you know yeah. my first gig proudest moment when I came off stage my first gig the room erupted and I went I can do this mm-hmm. that was probably the best moment you know because I couldn't I don't think that high has been really matched because it was the first time I did it so it was like pff, you know yeah. wow and then yeah, from then on it's chasing yeah. it yeah I've, I've had the buzz I know what it feels like mm-hmm. um, you know I'm, I'm come down now pretty much ten minutes later my first gig took me about a day yeah <laughs> Can imagine. So, what do we have? What can we expect from you for the rest of the year? Well, um, I'm going to Montreal in July, which has okay. been confirmed. Yeah. So that's my fifth visit to Just for Laughs, um, and I'm working on the children's book. Oh, are you? Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. I thought it was my daughter um, ripped a brand new book by mistake. You know, just leading on a page and turning it or something, and and it gave me an idea. Just about like a that. rip, about a rip. <laughs> just well, yeah. I bounced it around and it changed and evolved and you know that one percent inspiration, ninety percent perspiration thing. Yeah. But I bounced it around and I've got an idea for children's book about a rip. I hope this happens because I'm talking to a publisher about it at the moment, yeah. and I hope it happens. And also, when I read children's books to my daughter, often you find them a bit boring, and some of them are great. Yeah. And the ones that are great are because they're stimulating the adult as well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. hopefully this will do that. Yeah. And there's nothing from a parent's point of view. There's nothing better than a funny book or an I interesting agree. kids yeah. book right um so uh yeah I hope, I hope this is footage that i can look back on and go yeah that book happened yeah well good luck with that thank, thank you so much for pleasure. talking with thank us you for having we really me. enjoyed your show oh thank and, you and yeah that's demon does dave's and this is aaron thank you